Hi everyone, so I'm filming in a different location today just because I felt like maybe the lighting here was a little bit better. I'm on the like constant quest for better lighting. But this house is just built in such an awkward way that the light just comes in from really awkward, weird places. So hopefully um, the lighting is a bit better here, but let me know kind of what you prefer. If you prefer me to film where I was before, then I can do that or I'll chop and change and I don't know, the lighting situation just sucks. But I am here today to do a Ask V video, which is basically me answering your questions. And a couple of people have sent me questions via Facebook, some via Twitter, some on Instagram. So I've just got um, five questions that I've picked and then I'm gonna just answer them for you. First question is, um, what are your favourite slash most used apps if you have an iPhone? And do you have an iPhone? Okay, so I do have an iPhone. I have the iPhone 3GS, which is absolutely crap, but I'm not a massive phone person, to be honest. I don't kind of feel like I need the nearest phone and I'm not a kind of um, total technology junkie. So I'm kind of okay with that part, but I definitely think that having an iPhone is fantastic. I got mine off a friend that was selling it and I got it for a minuscule amount and I really, really do enjoy it. And my most used apps, let me have a look at what I've got. I definitely use my fitness pal a lot. Um, not so much anymore, but I did use it a lot when I was kind of trying to lose weight and it's a great, great app. It, it just allows you to kind of um, monitor your calories and your exercise and that kind of thing. Very, very handy. Um, I don't use this now because I'm on the pill, but when I wasn't on the pill, I used to use an app called Period Tracker, which basically tracked your period. I know that sounds really gross and weird, but just because I feel like it's kind of important to be on top of that kind of thing. And this is what it looks like. It, um, I don't know how, right. So you can kind of, it says I'm 75 days late because I haven't used it a lot lately because I am, um, as I said, I'm on the pill and you kind of get regular periods then anyway. But it kind of allows you to tap when you've got it and it'll tell you kind of maybe if you're trying to get pregnant, like what your fertile days are, not that I'm trying to do that. And um, that kind of thing, it's a really cool app. Um, I use obviously Instagram and things like that a lot. I try on Instagram daily. Um, and I use Skype, Skype's a really good app, VoucherCloud is a very good app as well, that's something that I use a lot, it just allows you to kind of get vouchers and discount codes near you and you can just use them via your phone, so like restaurants things like that, it's great. And then I've got a new one here that I've started using called StyleScan, which is a app that, it's a free app, all the apps that I use are free, I don't ever pay for apps, I don't like that, but StyleScan's a free app and it's basically like Instagram but just for fashion and beauty and that kind of thing I'll show you what it looks like so you can go on here and um, just scroll through different images of fashion and things like that and you know like nail art and things like that if I just click on a picture to show you it's really cool it's just Instagram but just for kind of beauty and fashion and hair and that kind of thing and then you can comment and like and all that kind of thing um, I've just set up my profile a couple of days ago so I haven't got much on there but um, you can upload photos and like things and um, share stuff and that kind of thing and it's kind of really inspiring to see what other people are wearing because it's just normal people just like scrolling through kind of outfit of the days a lot and you can also have a look at what people are buying and that kind of thing and just be able to kind of get really inspired there's some amazing outfits on here like where's that one with the stripy skirt her I love some of the images that they have on here this image is just gorgeous but I'll put a link in the down bar to what that app's um, called and um, it's just really really a cool app because you can upload things and share fashion and just kind of perv over people's fashion. I love it. But that's the, basically the concept of it, Instagram, but for that kind of thing. So those are kind of my most used apps. Um, I use the password lock thing as well because I really like that. But then I'm going to move on to the second question, which is a very interesting one. And it is, what is your boyfriend like? Now, I know I've said I'm not going to do a boyfriend tag, and I'm not going to do a boyfriend tag. I stand by that decision. But a couple of people kind of were asking and wanted to know what it was like and what he was like. So if you want to see a photo of him, I have got one on Instagram. Um, maybe I'll show you it now if it'll come up fast enough but um, I've posted one photo of him on Instagram I think so if you're like desperate to know what he looks like you can go and have a look on there um, but what is he like he is very lovely sometimes 
Um, no, to be honest, my boyfriend is the kindest, most helpful person you could ever possibly come across. He's incredibly um, generous and incredibly kind of giving and willing to help people um, as a person. Obviously, then you kind of have your personal qualities like um, being slightly bad tempered and um, impatient, but we all have those kind of not so nice qualities. And I don't know, I think I put one just of him up a while ago, so you can see, but he is just, here it is, oh, I've lost it, very, um, very funny and very sweet and I don't know, it's really difficult to describe someone that you know that well, but like, he is probably, you know, my best friend in the whole world and I absolutely adore him, even though he drives me absolutely crazy at some times. But that's the photo there, I don't know how well it's going to show up on camera, but if you follow me on Instagram, my Instagram name is Avia, um, Avia Sparkalicious, so I'll put um, the link down below, it's always down below anyway, and you can go and have a look on there if you want to kind of see more. Um, and then the next question is, have you ever binged and purged? Now this is quite a serious question. Um, I definitely think I can sometimes be a bit of a binge eater, but it's not in a way that kind of I do it like I have to eat now. It's very much out of boredom. If I'm bored and I'm not doing anything and I'm alone and I'm just kind of a bit fed up, I'll mindlessly eat, which is a form of binging, but it's kind of not... Um, in the traditional sense. Have I ever binged and purged? No, I did go through kind of a weird phase when I was a teen where I kind of thought, of, thought about it, but I never actually did it. Um, I had a best friend who was bulimic and she really, really struggled with it and became quite ill from it. So it was something that I was always quite mindful of, but I definitely kind of dabbled in the area, but not properly. Um, it's very difficult to kind of talk about a subject like that without it being too, too revealing I suppose because it is quite a touchy subject but it's something that's very important and I've just seen a couple more um, questions that people wanted to ask me. So question number four, are we question number four right? Have you ever had a point in your life that you didn't like being curly haired? If yes, when and what made you like having curly hair again? So that's a really, really, really good question. Um, I did go through a phase of not liking having curly hair, but to be honest, it was more to do with, it was when I was a lot younger and I felt like I was the only one that had curly hair and I really, really wanted to have straight hair. I wanted to have everything I wasn't. So I wanted to be skinny, I wanted to be blonde and I wanted to have straight hair, which in reality didn't quite work out because I'm a brunette, I'm curvy and I've got curly hair. But I wanted to be everything that I wasn't and I really tried to kind of maintain having straight hair but it just wasn't, it didn't look good on me. Um, I didn't straighten it properly like I might do now and I went through probably about three years of just not ever wearing it curly like I do now and it was a waste because it suits me the most and it's something that I was just very silly and childish to kind of not um, understand. So that is something that I definitely think I should have known better and I should have been able to, um, I should have been able to kind of see that for myself but I didn't which is quite sad and I just, I didn't like having curly hair, I didn't like kind of being the curly haired girl which is very very strange because now it's something that I absolutely adore and it's one of the things that I'm kind of the most confident about in myself is my hair and having curly hair and having long hair and it's something that kind of makes me feel the most like me. So I think just time and growing up made me kind of love my curly hair again and definitely trying to kind of find your curly hair icons helps. So think about women that have really curly hair and how sexy it looks. You know, people like Julia Roberts and Pretty Woman or um, Shakira and just people like that that kind of can help you embrace it a little bit more because it is difficult and I've done a video about embracing curly hair actually a while ago so I'll try and remember to link that in the down bar but that might help you. And then the last question is um, what are your top TV shows at the moment and do you watch sports? We'll do the sports question first. Um, I'm a, shall we call it, mild sports fan. Um, I can, I can, I get why people like sports, I get like getting excited about it, so for example when Andy Murray won, I did get really excited, I get that, but I don't have enough interest in it to watch the whole thing, I just like the kind of winning bit. With the exception of football, um, I can get quite into football and get quite into wanting 
um, someone to win. I am probably... I'm a Manchester United fan, but to be honest, I'm not sure how much it actually had to do with football and more that when I was a child, David Beckham was still in Manchester United and I had a bit of a David Beckham obsession. So um, that kind of contributed to that. And my brother is a Manchester United fan and my boyfriend is a Manchester United fan and they live and breathe it so I've kind of had to but it's not something that I mind I do kind of enjoy the thrill of watching football it's just I'm not that knowledgeable and that interested in it and Formula One um, is another thing where I'll kind of be interested in who's winning and that kind of thing but I can't sit there and watch the entire thing I just find it so dull so that's something that um, that's what I'm like with sports and then TV shows I'm loving at the moment um, Breaking Bad has finished. I know I mentioned Breaking Bad a lot, but it's finished. It has an epic ending. I won't say anything in case you haven't watched it yet. Epic ending. Um, Jesse could have been in it a little bit more. That would have been my only criticism, but it was great and I will miss it dearly. Homeland is back on and I am just beyond thrilled about that because Homeland is like my favourite, favourite programme ever. Um, and I just, I love Claire Danes in it. I think her acting is amazing and I think in episode three Brody's going to be coming back who I adore as well and I think it's just a very very well written very 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 well acted program the daughter is an amazing actress in it and I just think it's an amazing program all around so that I have got Dexter um, that I've downloaded to watch but I haven't started watching them yet I'm not sure if I'm gonna like it or not so I've downloaded all of those to watch. I kind of want to watch The Sopranos again, even though I did watch it years ago, but my boyfriend's not too keen on watching an old series. Um, but I wouldn't mind watching one of those again. And those are the ones I'm watching at the moment. Oh, The Face, to kind of completely counteract the like quality TV I've just mentioned. The Face um, is the new reality show, which is kind of like America's Next Top Model, but the UK version with Naomi Campbell and Erin O'Connor and... Caroline Victoria's Secret model, I can't think what her name is. That is very, very addictive and good. I love Naomi Campbell. I know a lot of people hate her and she's really controversial, but I just think she's so hard and self-assured and I love her and I think she just is beautiful. So the face I've been really enjoying and I think it's a really good programme. Keeping up with the Kardashians, I'll still watch um, every Sunday, but I don't know, I do find it a little bit more boring now than it used to be. But that is something that I'll always watch. Um, the only way is Essex I'll occasionally watch as well at the moment. But those are the ones that I'm kind of watching currently. And I do kind of want to start watching True Blood. Loads of people have said it's really good and then loads of people have told me it's really crap. If you've watched it, let me know what you think. I'd be really interested because I do start want to start watching that. It might have something to do with that English actor that they've just put in it that used to be in EastEnders because I really like him. But that's um, something that I'd like to watch. And if you've got any other series recommendations, then definitely let me know what you think um, about those because I'd be really interested. So those are my five questions. I will do another five questions soon, but I'll put all the information of the video and everything I've mentioned down below and the Style Scan app as well. Um, I'll put the link to that. And so you can go and have a look and go and follow me on there because I think I've only got like two followers because I've only just started it, which is really sad. I want to have lots of followers. <laughs> so go and um, follow me on there and then I'll follow you back and you can send me a message and tell me that you've found me via YouTube and that kind of thing and it'll be really fun for us to all look at all these lovely fashionable images together. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, just a quick mention to what I'm wearing on my lips. This is one of the Revlon Color Burst lipsticks in Adorned, I think it's called. Really, really like this. It's so vibrant and pigmented and not sticky. Really, really nice product. And my nails are OPI's um, Alpine Snow, which is kind of looking a bit rugged now. But that's what I'm wearing. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all in my next one.